Hello and welcome to the Little Historians Magazine TV. Today we're going to be making some wartime posters and telling you all about a thing called propaganda. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss a video. All you need for today's craft is some pens and some paper and maybe a little bit of inspiration. Let's get started and Katie is going to tell us all about propaganda. So propaganda is a way of spreading information or telling people certain things and making them believe the same thing that you do. Um, it's sort of similar to adverts today. If I wanted to tell you a certain thing I would use some sort of form of propaganda and present the information in a way that's probably a little bit untrue or confusing. The word propaganda actually comes from Latin and it means ideas to be spread around so hopefully that sort of explains itself. But during the First World War it became a way of spreading false ideas around which we see in World War II as well. Some propaganda was used to keep people happy or to inspire them and to help them think that the war might be over soon. Propaganda was used by Germany to sort of begin the Second World War when they planned an attack on their own town and then had people believe that Poland had done the attack. So they used it as a way of spreading false information and hatred. But the type we are going for is the more uplifting and inspiring, like the ones you might have seen around Britain to help keep you positive. A bit like this one. So I've done a Dig for Victory poster and this was used to encourage people to grow food in their gardens to help with rationing when food was scarce. Or this one, Make Do and Mend, which was used to encourage people to fix their old clothes with patches and to just make the best of what they had at the time, because they even had a ration on clothing. And one that you've probably seen is this one, Keep Calm and Carry On, which I think is just quite a good mantra to have in everyday life. Yes, I think we should use that at the magazine. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and that you're going to make your very own inspirational propaganda posters. If you'd like to know more about World War II, then make sure to head over to the Little Historians Magazine website and get yourself a magazine subscription. And as usual, make sure to like and subscribe so you see the rest of our videos. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.